Here are the video solutions for AQA Functional Skills Maths Level 1. This is paper 2 which is the calculator paper and this is the March 2022 paper. Okay so let's take a look at section A question number 1. Write the numbers in size starting with the smallest. Okay so this number has 5 digits, this is 6, this is 6, this is 5. So the smallest has to be one of the two 5 digit numbers. This one begins with a 6, this one begins with 9 and since 6 is less than 9 this is the smallest number so 67492 then 92836. Comparing the two 6 digit numbers this one begins with a 3, this one begins with a 4, 3 is less than 4 so 351968 and the biggest 472410. Question number 2 we want the plan view. Now the plan view is the view from above, so the bird's eye view. So from above we will see this square here and this square here. So what we will see is just two squares next to each other. So that is C. Okay, round 17.834 to two decimal places. Well that means we're interested in the value of the third decimal place. It's less than five, so this will simply round down to 17.83. Circle the fraction equal to 0 0.75. When you've got a two digit number, we are talking about 100. So 70, 0 0.75 is 75 over 100. Um, that isn't an answer option, but we can divide top and bottom by five. How many fives go into 75? Well, 75 divided by five is 15. 100 divided by five is 20. We've still got two numbers that are in the five times table, dividing the top by five we get three and the bottom by five we get four so it's three over four but hopefully you just knew that 0 0.75 is three quarters okay so for this question uh, we just need to square 20 24 which is 24 times by 24 and 24 times 24 is 576 37 squared or well, that is 37 times by 37 which is 1369 add the two together 576 plus 1369 we get our answer which is 1945 you might be able to simply type that into your calculator as it um, as it looks there and you should still get 1945 increase 78 by 35 percent okay so there's two ways of doing this method one is work out 35 percent of 78 and now our calculation is 0 0.35 times 78. This is the percentage multiplier for 35%. It's the decimal equivalent of 35%. It's 35 divided by 100. And 0 0.35 multiplied by um, 78 is 27.3. Uh, so um, all we need to do is increase 78 by 27.3 and 78 plus 27.3 is 105.3. Method two is a bit simpler. Instead of using the multiplier 0 0.35, which is the multiplier we use to calculate 35% of an amount, to increase by 35%, instead of using 0 0.35, we would use 1.35. So 1.35 times 78, and that will take us automatically to the answer of 105.3. Question number seven, so for the volume we need to multiply the three dimensions together. So 7.2 times 3.8 times by 4.5 and that comes to 1, oh, uh, no it doesn't, it comes to 1, 2, 3.12 and the unit is centimeter cubed. Centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is centimeter cubed. Okay, so on to section B, question number eight. So um, we know that the ratio of teachers to students is one to eight. So teachers to students is one to eight. Um, so they're planning a trip for 34 students. So how many teachers are needed for 34 students? Well, if there were 16 students, that'd be nice and easy. There's twice as many students, so we need twice as many teachers. But what are we multiplying eight by to get to 34? Well, the answer is, well, what is 34 divided by eight? And 34 divided by eight is 4.25. So we have increased the number of students by four and a quarter. So therefore we need to increase the number of teachers by 
four and a quarter. So what that means is we need four and a quarter teachers, which makes no sense. Um, so it has to be a whole number. Now, um, 4.25 is nearer four than five, but if you've got four teachers, that's uh, that will not be enough teachers for 34 students. So we're gonna have to uh, upgrade that to five teachers. It does mean that more students could potentially come on the trip, but um, it's, we do have to round this up to five. So the question is how many more teachers do we need? Well, remember we've got two already, so it's simply five take away two, so three more teachers. So the answer here is three. Okay, uh, part B. So it will take one and a half hours to get to the field center, so that's uh, 1.5 hours. I'll probably turn that into minutes actually, so let's call that 90 minutes. We've got 20 minutes to unpack, 45 minutes for lunch. So how many minutes is that in total? That is a total of 155 minutes, which is the same as two hours, which is 120 minutes. Take away 120 from 155, that's two hours, 35 minutes. So if we want to be ready for 1 p.m., we need to go, What uh, starting at 1 p.m., we need to subtract two hours and 35 minutes. So if I take away two hours from 1 p.m., that is 11 a.m., and now I just need to take away the 35 minutes from 11 a.m., so that will take me to 10.25. So the answer is 10.25 a.m. Okay, so for this question, um, if the geography department <clears throat> is paying 20%, then that means the students pay the rest, which is 80%, because 100% take away 20% is 80%. So all we need to do is work out 80% of the total trip cost, which is 3265. Now the percentage multiplier for 80% is 0 0.8, or maybe 0 0.80 is the number you prefer to see, as it's more visually obvious. Um, so this is the decimal equivalent of 80%, it is 80 divided by 100, but we don't need that zero on the end. So 0 0.8 will do. And 0 0.8 times 3265 is 2,612 pounds. Now this is shared equally among the 34 students. So 2612 divided by 34 comes to 76 pounds 82 per student. And we want the nearest pound, I mean, it would be bizarre to charge that amount um, to a student, so we'll round that up and we'll call that 77 pounds. So the answer here is 77. Okay, question number nine, we need to put these into a pie chart. Now the good news is that the total is 36, which might look like a really horrible random number, but actually remember the total number of degrees in a pie chart, which is a circle is 360. So 36 goes to 360, so three will go to 30, six will go to 60, nine will go to 90, and 18 will go to 180. And we can already see that the starlings is 180. So what we need to do here is uh, draw in a right angle here. So ideally we're using a protractor here. It, I'm unable to demonstrate this um, on my screen here, but there we go. Let's say that that is 90 degrees. So this would be uh, sparrows. And for here we're measuring either um, a 60 degree or a 30 degree, it doesn't really matter because if I do the 30 degree then automatically the other bit will be uh, 60 and vice versa. So uh, actually it doesn't look like I've done a great job of that. So this is supposed to represent the 60 degrees which is the blackbirds and this here is 30 degrees which is the others. But if you use a protractor then uh, you won't go wrong on that one. Okay, Simon takes a photo of each of the 36 birds that visit the, fe uh, the feeder and he decides to choose one at random. What's the probability that the photo is of a sparrow? Um, well, he's saying the probability is that it's greater than one third. Okay, well, sparrows is one quarter. We can clearly see that that is one quarter of the pie. So the probability is one quarter. Is one quarter bigger than one third? That is the question. So this can be quite hard to think about, so let's just think about it like this. Well, here is a quarter, here is one third. What's bigger? One third is bigger. So one quarter is actually less than one third. It is quite confusing because uh, four is bigger than three, but one quarter is less than one third. So the probability that the photo is of a sparrow is more than one third, uh, false, because the probability is one over four and a quarter is less than one third. 
Okay, so for this question, all we need to do is work out the mean, which is going to be all the values added together. 36 plus 25 plus 30 plus 42 plus 44 plus 26 plus 56. And that total comes to 259. We need to divide the total by uh, the number of values, which is 7. 259 divided by 7, that is 37. So the mean has gone from 39 to Oops, let me just scroll down a bit. It's gone from 39 to 37, so it has therefore decreased. Question number nine. Um, so Simon's putting 125 grams in the feeder. Um, so if he's doing that for um, three weeks, so three weeks is 21 days. So 21 lots of 125 comes to 2,625 grams, and I'm gonna convert that into kilos. A kilo is 1,000 grams, so when we're converting kilos to grams, we multiply by 1,000, but if we're going in the opposite direction, we are dividing by 1,000, and 2,625 divided by 1,000 is 2.625 kilos. So if Simon's putting this amount in the feeder every day, then in three weeks, he'll use 2.625 kilos, so a 2.8 kilo will last more than three weeks because 2.8 is greater than 2.625. So is Simon correct? Yes. Okay, on to question number 11. So the first thing we need to do is shade so that we've got one line of symmetry. So let's imagine that this is the line of symmetry. So therefore this square needs to be shaded in. This um, because um, imagine that imagine that these are wet ink. If I was folding here, then this square here would make a print there. This square here would therefore make a print there. So this one needs to be shaded in, as does the top right as well. Okay, there are a couple other options as well, but to me that this one seems the most like that. To, that one came most obviously to me anyway. Okay, eleven uh, B confused me a little bit. Uh, it took me a while. I had to reread the question and understand what was actually going on with this cushion. So we just need to work out the total area of this. So it's 14 plus another 14 plus another 14 plus another 14 plus one plus another one down here. So it's 14 times by four plus two and that comes to uh, 58. Okay, so this is 58 by uh, 58. So the area is simply going to be 58 times by 58. 58 times by 58 is 3,364. Um, so if she's cutting it from a square piece of fabric with an area of 3,600, then the fabric is big enough, yes, because 3,364 is less than 3,600 square centimeters. Okay, so for this question, what we need to do is just work out the perimeter of this shape. So we know this side is also 145 and this is 120. So 145 plus 120 plus 145 plus 120 or 145 plus 120 times by two. However you do it, you should get um, 530 centimeters. Now let's turn that into meters. 530 centimeters divided by 100 equals 5.3 meters. So if she has 3.6 meters of cord, then she doesn't have enough. She will need an additional 5.3 take away 3.6, which is 1.7 meters. And that is the end of the test. Okay, so question 10C, we need to arrange six photos on this display board. And we know that um, each square is a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square. So if um, we've got one photo which is width of 60 by 60 by 60, so if each square represents um, 10 by 10, well how many 10s go into 60? 60 divided by 10, this is going to be a 6 by 6 on, um, on the grid here. So I'll just um, put it in the top left corner. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, is that 6? It's definitely 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six okay there we go so there is um 
there is the 60 by 60. So that one's been done. And okay, so we want to divide 30 and 40 by uh, 10 as well. So that is going to be a three by four. And um, there are two of them. And we also need to remember that we're leaving at least 10 centimeters between the photos. So that is one square. So I'm going to do a three by four here. So I'll do four across and three down. There we go. So there is one 30 by 40. Uh, it doesn't state that you need to write the uh, dimensions in, by the way. I uh, don't really know why I've done that. Um, uh, let's do another one here. Again, just making sure there is a gap of a uh, one square between between them all. And there were three more photos. So we've done those two photos, 25 by 15. So again, divide both of these by um, 10. That is gonna be a 2.5 times by 1.5. And there are three of them. Okay, so, uh, sorry, what was it again? 2.5 times 1.5. Let me write that down before I forget. And there's three of them in total. So one, two and a half by one and a half. There's one. Um, I'll do another one here. This is more than 10 centimeters, but that's absolutely fine. So I will, there's my uh, two and a half, one and a half, and I'll just chuck the other one down in this corner here. Um, so two and a half, one, two and a half, and one and a half across. There we go, plenty of options. Um, I could have created a bit more space between the bigger ones, but you know, there's many, many possible answers. And the one that I've done is as good as any because it works. Okay, so for this question, we know that uh, the fee is 40 pounds plus the number of photos, which is 18 lots of three pounds 75. So we need to do the 18 times by the three pounds 75 first. And that comes to 60, uh, seven pounds fifty and sixty seven fifty plus forty that is one hundred and seven pounds fifty now Liam received six twenty pound notes so six times by twenty is one hundred and twenty so the change that Molly gets will be the one hundred and twenty take away the one oh seven fifty um, so that is therefore twelve pounds fifty change Okay, on to part B. So we're interested in pack A and pack C. Pack A is 5, 10, 15, 20, 22, and C is six. So Liam says, I sold more than four times as many of pack A as I did of pack C. Well, pack C is six. Six times by four is 24. Um, so is 22 greater than 24? No, it isn't. So Liam is wrong. No because 22 is less than 24.